Hi everyone, welcome to the first video on my channel. This channel will be dedicated to educational videos. Please excuse the scuffed background. Um, I will be changing that as soon as I can. So to get started with our Microsoft E5 tenant, we are going to need to go to the developer Microsoft website. I have the link in the description below or you can copy above. Uh, the first, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need um, an email address. Uh, it doesn't have to be a corporate email address, just any at Outlook or at Live at Hotmail, whatever you want to use. Um, and then you, you're going to need to put down your card because you don't need to put that information in here. So we're going to hit join now. And I'm just going to use an email that I created just now for cloud at outlook.com. And we're going to put in our password here. And we're gonna say no to this. Once you're signed in, it's gonna load you into your area. You're gonna put in the information here. And this is very simple. Um, so just go ahead and fill this out. Uh, provide your company name. For this example, we're gonna do Core Cloud YouTube. And then English, we're gonna accept the terms and agreement. And we're gonna hit next. What is your primary focus as a developer? Uh, personal projects. And lastly, what areas of 365 are you interested in? I'm just gonna put SharePoint, uh, Microsoft Graph, Teams, and uh, we'll do Power Platform. You'll hit save and voila, now we get our options. So, we have the option to do an instant sandbox, which deploys uh, 16 users automatically. Um, this would be useful if you have code that you're ready to test, um, or if you just wanna get rolling into your dev tenant with you know messing with mailboxes or SharePoint um, or Microsoft Groups, however you'd like. Or you can choose configurable sandbox, will, which will let you uh, start from nothing and build up to something. So. We're gonna do configurable sandbox and we're gonna hit next. Okay, and then now you're going to be filling out your E5 um, global admin account. So we're just gonna do a core cloud. Uh, we're gonna do core cloud YouTube again. A notice, um, it fills into your on, on Microsoft domain. So then we're going to add our password, another password if they match. All right, so we're matching now. All right, hit continue. You'll need to put in your phone number. You're not gonna know mine. So once you've verified your text message, you're going to get a link to visit your new tenant. If you do not get a link, just head over to admin.microsoft.com and log in with your um, your new tenant username that you just set up. So we're gonna log in here. I'm gonna be asked to MFA because I've set this up already. If you haven't, it will ask you. And it's always good practice to MFA if you can and you should. All right, so here we are. You're gonna notice a couple things. You look at your licenses, you will see 24 of 25 available for your E5 developer. Uh, note, they don't include Windows and audio conferencing for Teams. Uh, to be expected, they don't want 25 people to have Windows for free. Because um, if you remember, we do not have a payment method in here. So I'm gonna put a video here shortly after this one to kind of explain how to keep your tenant alive uh, because Microsoft does have the ability to just shut this down. Uh, I have noticed it being a little slower than a production environment as well because um, they're probably hosting this in a smaller stack. Uh, with slower speeds. Lastly, if you come back to your developer Microsoft, you'll notice over here that there should be a, a countdown for 90 days for your subscription. And if you go back to your products, not your licensing, you're gonna notice that there will be a subscription status which expires in three months. So I'll post a video here shortly um, that will explain how you can keep this tenant running 
however, I do not recommend at all using this for production. I wouldn't add any domain. Um, and I wouldn't run production email through here. But this has been really good for testing code, um, ruling out theories if you're working and you need to test in your own environment. This is a great way, this is a great place to break it. Um, and I highly suggest everyone have one of these set up. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found this very useful. Please leave any comments down below if you have any questions, let me know, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. 